WhatsApp is finally available on Apple Watch. In this episode, we will quickly see how to install WhatsApp on Apple Watch, the official app that Meta WhatsApp have just released, and what are the supported file formats, you know, the messaging formats on your Apple Watch that you can browse that are present on your iPhone. So each time the message comes, you don't have to pick up your iPhone from your pocket. You can simply browse the messages right on your Apple Watch. Instead of just reading and replying the notifications, now you will be able to browse the messages. You can respond to the group message. You can send and receive audio message easily on your Apple Watch. In the App Store, if you search for WhatsApp Messenger, you can see that the latest update is available that brings the Apple Watch app update. So you need to update it by searching or by tapping on your profile picture. You can install it right away. After that, navigate to the Watch app and scroll to the last. You can see the WhatsApp. If there is any problem with installation, navigate to the control center and turn on Bluetooth to make sure that the connection you know, is seamless between your iPhone and Apple Watch. Sometimes we may turn off the Bluetooth just to save some power but you know the watch and iPhone synchronization will be affected because of that so you can simply turn on uh, temporarily to install the WhatsApp messenger uh, from the control center the Bluetooth you can turn it on and then the installation will be successful so here you can see that I have installed it on my Apple watch series 9 with watch OS 10 and later version the WhatsApp Apple Watch will be compatible. So if you're using the older generation of Apple Watch models, make sure that it is compatible with the watch OS 10 or later. So only then you can install the WhatsApp on your Apple Watch. Otherwise, it will not be compatible. So here you can see that I can browse all the messages. It is simply the mirror of the WhatsApp that I'm seeing on my iPhone. Even I can browse the photos and the multimedia contents, the images that I have received on my uh, you know the iPhone particular messaging contact or even for the group messaging so if I try to send an audio message I can send it directly from my Apple watch it uses the built-in microphone so you can see the that the audio is perfectly sent if I send the audio message from my iPhone then it takes extra seconds to download that to my Apple watch so yes there will be some sort of storage consumption that is going to happen if you are planning to download the audio messages and uh, multiple media contents the images on your Apple watch to stream or listen to them we'll see how it goes and if there is any need for managing the storage of whatsapp on your Apple watch then I will bring a separate video about it in our channel one important thing is like right now it supports the text messages the photos and the audio messages that you can send and receive the voice messages but it won't support the calling feature even though it is a standalone app something similar to the iPad but the watch right now has limitations if you receive a video call or audio call on your iPhone to the WhatsApp number, it automatically shows that there is an incoming call notification and it you know, asks you to pick up the phone and uh, attend it there. If you are sending any videos, then that cannot be previewed on your Apple Watch. So these two things are not supported. The video files and the video and audio calls will not be supported on Apple Watch. So only for texts, images and audio, this is going to be a perfect companion. Do give it a try, install it on your Apple Watch and share your thoughts in the comments below. If you find this video useful, you can share it with your friends and followers. Do subscribe for more useful iPhone, iPad and Mac related tips and tricks. Thank you and have a wonderful day.